Ambulances are facing an EMT shortage statewide, and we're feeling the effects here locally. And the COVID-19 pandemic has certainly taken a toll on the industry. Our Jen Selig has more. Both paid and volunteer ambulances are facing an emergency medical technician shortage. We really can't put our thumb on it. We don't know why. We don't know why there's no paramedics or advanced life support providers in the area. Definitely uh, a, a statewide issue. You know, we used to have a stack of applications and we, you know, would have some to choose from. Right now I have nothing. I have, I have probably four applications in my drawer. When people make that call to 911, they rely on an ambulance to arrive ASAP. But with the lack of EMTs, it makes that task difficult. Volunteer agencies having to use commercial agencies uh, in our area, um, American medical response to be um, dispatched with them during the day because people can't leave their day jobs to to be going out and answering calls. Jennings from Edwards Ambulance says the number of calls went down during the COVID pandemic. And because of that, they got rid of one of their ambulances to reduce expenses. We were running uh, four ambulances and we dropped down to three ambulance crews. Because uh, the call volume wasn't there for them to, you know, who didn't justify us having them here. To fix the shortage, it starts with getting more people to take classes to become certified as an EMT or paramedic. And that's that's going to be the most important thing uh, for time to come is to get people to do these classes. Reporting in Chadwick's Jen Selig, Eyewitness News.